Welcome to the Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today's, today's date is May 30th, 2014. My name is Lynn Marquardt and I'm your host. Hello everyone. Welcome to tonight's Fibercast. So glad you could join us. We have a full show. We have lots to do and we might as well just get right into it. The whole point of Fibercast is for us to get a lot done in 60 minutes. It's amazing what you can get done and what I can get done. So grab a project and come along for the fun. And like I say, we have a full, I was going to say day, or full meeting, but it's a full fun Fibercast where we're going to web together a whole quilt. Remember this one, my gray background one, that has the reds, stars, and the blue stars. We're to the point where we have 25 blocks and we're going to web it all together tonight. So that's, that's the big challenge. We're also going to pay tribute to Maya Angelou. Many of you, I'm sure, know her as a poet, an acclaimed writer, a um, historian, a, a civil rights activist, uh, an encourager of life. She also orchestrated the quilting bee as a quilter on how to make an American quilt. So we'll remember a little bit about that movie and we'll also go over some of her quotes that are, that are inspirational, darn right inspirational. I also wanted to bring you up to date on my Hitty projects, my doll, my never-ending quest to, to outfit my doll. And also, you'll see behind me, we received the Clemson print. I don't know if you can see that, but those are C's and tiger paws, and it says Clemson, and that will be the backing for the quilt for my nephew. So, oh, and then of course, I want to answer your emails and share with everyone what you're working on. So send me email at lmarquadon at gmail.com. Post it on Google, post it on YouTube or Facebook, on the Simply Colorful sites, and let's have some fun. So I started to web this. I actually have webbed together 10 pieces so far. So you may see that's, that will end up being the upper right-hand corner. And all I'm going to do is systematically, I've piled up my piles of five, and I'm just going to, without cutting the threads in between, web all the squares together. So, and these are the, these started out as two and a half inch squares. And as you may remember, I started it at the retreat, and then I've been working on it. So the retreat was back in March. So we've been working on this quilt for a few months, and the squares, as you'll remember, were cut on the AccuQuilt Go. So what a dream to put together. They really, they go to, they fit together nicely. Not perfectly, I'm sure others would do it better, but for me, they're going together quite nicely. So happy spring to everyone. I don't know if you can hear it, and with any luck we'll keep our electricity, but we have quite the thunderstorm going on here in the Northeast. Oh, and we just got a text. Oh, and it's from Karen out in Pennsylvania, who says she's missing Fibercast tonight for a good cause, and it just so happens I have her husband's Facebook picture up because he's there. They are running a Relay for Life out in Mount Carmel, Elysburg area, Pax Inos, and they've been doing it for years and they really do such a nice job. They have a Las Vegas theme this year and they've, they've raised thousands, thousands of dollars. So we'll miss Karen, but certainly I'm proud of them for what they do for Relay for Life. So thank you, Karen, and TG Bob, and everyone out there, Tommy, Alexa, everyone who pulls it together. So what I was saying was, and it was nice to get a text from Karen. She's probably walking around the track right now where she sent the text. Isn't technology amazing? It was nice of her to think of us. In fact, what I should probably do 
is send her a quick message back. If she's not watching us, that way she'll know we got it. We received it. So she says, missing Fibercast tonight for a good cause. Oh, talk to you soon. She even posted a picture of herself. There she is. Okay, well let us... Wonderful. Hi from all of us on Fibercast. Okay. So this is the season for relays. I know a lot of you are doing relays. Jean and I know everyone out there, Kelsey and Joyce, have or are participating. Carol. I mean, all of us. I'd be curious how many people have slept over. I've done it a couple of times, and I must say, I hit this wall, a wall, and I just fall asleep on the sod. <laughs> it's not pretty. I just cannot keep my eyes open. Try as I might. But I love the idea of it. I love the, the tents out and all the teams and, and just the rally for life. Okay, so see how we're cranking through here? I'm just going to keep webbing. One, two, three. Four, five. This is <laughs> this is bound to be there's bound to be a mistake in this here pile. But let's all just keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't become a real biggie or we find it before. Uh, okay, there we go. So for anyone out there who's not webbed together quilts, and I'm sure by this time we've we've all learned it together, the, the webbing or the the uncut thread between the squares acts as built-in pins. And it's it just goes so much faster. So that's good. Now we do a blue one. Oh, so nice to hear from Peggy. I don't know if you're out there down in Australia. I know I'm always saying hi to her and I, you know, I don't mean to single the same people out every week. I just so enjoy everyone's notes. Karen out in San Diego, for example. It was just so nice to hear from you this week. I just love to hear where everyone is and what's keeping everyone busy, all the fundraisers I keep hearing about. I have to tell you, I was almost on a plane to Santa Clara tomorrow kind of comical. I I really, I didn't get my act together and there is a Women in Technology conference out in Santa Clara. It starts on Sunday, goes through Tuesday. It's jam-packed with some really thoughtful speakers and I just missed the boat. I was so busy thinking about other things I didn't sign up for it. So anyway, today I finally get around to it and of course it starts on Sunday. And I went and I found a red-eye flight that was affordable and they had some rooms left over that were even less expensive than the conference room rates. And I had 
a code, a special code, that I thought I could use to waive the $900 admission fee. And that was the stickler. So I had, I was halfway there. In my mind, I was already there. And when I went on, on the site to try to get my, use my code, I discovered it was only going to give me 10% off or something. I just couldn't justify it. So here I am. And all these things work out for a reason. So once I finish this up, let's do a little reading of some quotes for inspiration. Don't you love to nest your seams? Oh. Well, I'll be. I would have thought this would take longer. So what we have so far, you see that? We have three. And if you'll remember, the quilt goes across. There are two more. So it's not that big a quilt, really. All right. So I'm just going to lay it there so I don't get confused. And... Just, of course, I, I have a few cheat, cheater notes here, just so that I could get it right. Um, Maya Angelou, she did go by doctor, was, and this is an article, just so that I give credit, to Alina Shepard from Policy Mike. And there are many things on the web, and I'm sure you've all read them, but Maya, she was an influential voice of the time. She was hailed as a global renaissance woman, poet, memorist, novelist, educator, dramatist, producer, actress, historian, filmmaker, and civil rights activist. She was born in St. Louis, Missouri. She was raised, raised in St. Louis in Stamps, Arkansas. Love that name of that town, Stamps. And um, she had a hard childhood. Um, at 14, she dropped out of out of school. She went to San Francisco. She became the first African American cable car conductor. Uh, she had a son. She then she started to act. She went did Porgy and Bess and lots of different um, off Broadway productions. She could sing. I've seen her sing. In 1960, she moved to Cairo. So she was born in 1928, by the way. She was 86. Um, during her years abroad, Dr. Angelou read and studied voraciously. She mastered French, Spanish, Italian, Arabic, and the West African language of Fanti. While in Ghana, she met with Malcolm X. In 1964, she returned to America to help him build his new organization of African American unity. So I could go on and on. Just quite, uh, quite a um, full, full life. She started writing the one that we've all heard that was published in 1970 was I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Uh, international acclaim and enormous popular success. Wow. Over 30 best-selling titles she wrote in her years. <clears throat> uh, she was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. She was in Roots, Alex Haley's Roots. Um... She served on two presidential committees. She was awarded the Presidential Medal of Arts in 2000, the Lincoln Medal in 2008. 2008. She received three Grammy Awards. She actually, on, on be, at, at the request of President Clinton, she read poem, a poem at his inauguration in 1993. It's called On the Pulse of the Morning, and it was broadcast live around the world. She received 50 honorary degrees, her words and actions continue to stir our souls, energize our bodies, liberate our minds, and heal our hearts. So let's, that's a little background. And I'm sure I didn't do that justice, but some of these quotes you may, I'm sure you've heard. Um, on change, one of the quotes you, you heard her say, 
If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. On the meaning of life, she somewhat recently had tweeted this. She said, be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. On self-respect, she said, never make someone a priority when all you are to them is an option. That's a good one. Um, and of course, different quotes will speak to each of us in different ways at different times in our own lives. I'll save some of these for a little later. The one... Um, Oh, this is good on wellness. Very short and sweet. She says, nothing will work unless you do. So she was a hard worker, that Maya. And I think that's definitely what we quilters have in common with her, without a doubt. Um, we're a hard-working bunch, if I dare, dare say so. Um, so we'll read a few more of those quotes later. So let me just keep webbing away. I'm dying to hear what you all are working on on this last Friday of May 2014. I cannot believe it. Whew. Oh, I think last weekend, because it was Memorial Day, I was talking about all of our planting. I hope you all got a lot of planting done and had fun. We sure did here on this street. And just, I think we got all of our vegetables in up the street. So hi Bridget if you're out there. Thank you as always for everything you do. I can't wait for those first tomatoes, to eat the first tomatoes. Bridget and I went down to the, the farm stand and we splurged on one tomato plant that had been grown in a greenhouse and not only did it have flowers on it but it had a little fruit <laughs> so we'll be watching that one closely I talked my husband Bob into hiking up a mountain last Sunday. We hiked up Wachusett Mountain. What a nice walk. It was a challenge at times. It was, we took hmm, a two mile trail up. We only went 750 feet up. And at the top, it's only 2,000 feet. as compared to the Grand Canyon, which we know we've been to recently, is between 13 and 14,000 feet. So, again, the mountain we climbed last, last weekend was 2,000. But it was a start, and it was fun. So let me do one more. And enough about me. I want to know what you all are doing. Joyce Long, I hope that you found us. I think I saw an email right before we pushed the go live button here tonight asking about Fibercast. So I hope you're out there. Keep on quilting. I can't wait to see what you're working on. Okay, let's see who's out there. Ah. Oh, 
it's catching up to itself. Isn't that funny? Maybe the the thunderstorm, although it's done outside, but it may be slowing down communications. Brenda, welcome. I hope that you have joined. I, I was so glad that you found us. I sent you a quick email. We do Fibercast. Brenda asks, when do we do Fibercast? Do we do it on a regular schedule? And yes, since the new year, we have been doing this on Friday nights from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. And then they're archived on YouTube, so you can watch them whenever you feel like sewing. And again, the whole point is... It's amazing what we can all get done together. I, I've done more quilting since we started this than I did probably all last year. So I hope, I hope that some of you are experiencing that same, same thing. Karen I mentioned out in San Diego. I hope that you're joining. I'm curious if your daughter is a quilter. That might be therapeutic. Um, Darlene says hello I just finished an orange and white quilt using Bonnie Hunter's hidden spools pattern and a gray quilt using her lozenger's leader ender challenge pattern oh that's great oh post them or point us to wherever you've posted them maybe they're on if they're on Bonnie's quiltville page we can go find them there That's wonderful. Let me see. Oh, I also wanted to see if anyone else had the same reaction I did. I've started to get the Missouri Quilt Star Company daily specials, which are wonderful. Those little packets of squares. Today, they almost sucked me in. They're ben Benarex, Benertex fabrics is creating a line of cotton that looks like burlap and the colors are so pretty in fact I think I saved it to show you let's see show you right now today's quilt special so as you may or may not know Missouri Quilt Star Company does this every day you can sign up for their special so while I'm waiting for that to come up, here's another quote from Maya. Oh, things are very slow. Okay, I'm going to come back to that too. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Aw, oh, Sandra, hi. Thanks for saying hi. I thought my phone was broken. Sandra says, this was my Quilting Bee project last year and stopped when started Mystery Quilt. Back on it for now. Raining here also. Oh, Sandra, I love it. I love that star quilt. Look at that. Oh, and I love how there are different sizes of stars. Very nice. You are amazing. Thanks for sharing. So let's keep webbing. You may hear Bob's band in the background tonight. It's such a good sound to hear. They haven't been playing, or they've had some band members that haven't been here in the past couple of weeks, and that's been hard. Oh, and you know what? The webbing is getting a little bit disheveled. Okay, let's take a blue star. So, last Sunday we went hiking. 
and we hiked up, we parked down at the base of the Wachusett Ski Mountain, and then we hiked up over the trails, and that was really fun to see all of the ski making equipment, snow making equipment, and the electricity and the lights, and the trails were really well marked. Only once did we go off trail, which freaks me out. I like to stay on the trail. Okay, now I'm kind of mixed up here, so I'm just going to leave this. This is for now. So now we're looking at Mount Monadnock. Might be the next one. We also, Bridget, if you're out there, or Megan, we're we're going to be hiking here. We have a state forest, state park right near where we live. And Megan's about ready to move with her family out to Denver. So as a last hurrah, we're going to do a big hike around the reservoir. So wish us luck on that. And the lady slippers are blooming down back. Let's see. So we have two more to web together. And then I'll show you what we've got. These squares are forgiving. You can turn them around a little bit. And so I'm doing that so I can um, nest my seams. Oh, speaking of Relay for Life, I also wanted to congratulate Judy on her plant sale from last weekend. They they grow plants all all winter long in the greenhouse and they had a really good turnout. So they were able to sell a lot and make a lot of people happy in the process. One more. I just love all the grays that are available these days. They really, you know, you can look at a palette of grays and they can look from blue to pink to yellow. They they can have the whole spectrum right in grays. take a look at what we've got so far. I'm even going to stand up so that you can see the web we have so far. Okay, So we've got four across. I'm going to sew one more over here and then we'll do it the other way. And I will post, I'll post a picture of this. But before I start that last one, let's see who else is out there. Let's do a few more Maya quotes. So many things to share. So 
This is one that we keep hearing about on kindness. Maya says, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Isn't that the truth? I think I've heard a variation on that. People will f they'll forget what you did, they'll forget what you say, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. On forgiveness, it's one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself to forgive. Forgive everybody, she said. She said on a life well lived, she's learned that making a living is not the same as making a life. Oh, how true. Um, if you're always trying to be normal, boy, I wish, I wish all adolescent girls could know this, or probably boys too. If you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. On courage, she said, have enough courage to trust love one more time and always one more time. We talked about the work one. We talked about the creativity. I think I put that in my post. She says you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. And I can relate to that. You know, it, some people may say, well, if you use it all up, you'll burn out. You know, if you if you just go so that, that's true, I think. I think if you do anything too hard, you will burn out. But I find if you temper it, then you experience the joy of being creative, and then you, you get more ideas. So it kind of builds on itself. And then you're, you have more ideas. So let's do one more, and then we'll see who else is out there. Um, life, love, engage in it. Give it all you've got. Lo love it with a passion, because life truly does give back many times over what you put into it. So just a little bit, I mentioned she was an actress in How to Make an American Quilt. That, that movie is almost 19 years old now. I did a little research. It was made in 1995. It had Winona Ryder, Ellen Bernstein, Anne Bancroft, and Maya, and a few others. And the premise of it was um, there was a girl, Finn, who was proposed to, a young girl, and she wasn't ready or sure that he was the one or she wanted to commit, so she decided to go stay with her grandmother over the summer and get some separation and think about it. And over the course of the summer, her grandmother, who was in a quilting group, she, her grandmother and all the friends in the quilting group shared with this young woman whose name was Finn um, their past experiences with love and romantic love and friend love and um, it's a touching story and and uh, they all they all have different perspectives so Maya Maya did not have a big role in this movie her name was Anna in the movie and as I said she ended up being the one who really orchestrated the quilting group and here's how it started apparently in the movie she was a young servant and she had an affair with her boss's son who was visiting from Chicago so she becomes pregnant by the son and then her great aunt finds out about the pregnancy and she sends Anna away um, and during the pregnancy Anna meets Gladdy and Hyacinth who are somehow related to Finn right either the I think it's the grandmother and the great aunt when she was taken Anna was taken in by that family she becomes particularly close to Gladdy and eventually teaches Gladdy to quilt and during one of those quilting sessions, she starts labor, giving birth to Mariana, who ends up being, is played by Alfre Woodard. I don't know if you know, remember her. And it's only then that Anna realizes that her fancy notion of romantic love was nothing in comparison to the maternal love she feels for her daughter. And so Anna sticks around. They all have a quilting group, and she orchestrates it. And she has a few, few quotes about chasing the moon and making silly decisions when you're young and it's a good it's a good good movie anyway on and on I go clearly I'm not a Siskel or Ebert but there you go let's see who's out there hi Judy hi Joyce hi Jean let's see 
I think people are in summer mode. I think I mentioned what we're going to do is I'm not going to be starting any new projects until the fall. It's going to be UFO summer. We're going to finish up these things. Okay, we'll keep on sewing. We're going to do our last webbing here. Hi, Cindy, if you're out there. We need to get together with the guild and finish that program plan for next year. Cindy and I have been working on that. We, I think I mentioned we have Jen Sorensen who's going to come in next fall and talk about modern quilts. And now Cindy and I have a budget so we can make some real firm decisions. One of the things the Quilt Guild's doing this year is uh, a subset of the girls are doing a round robin. Can't wait to see them all done. I'm curious how people... Do we have any viewers that like to do round robins? Let's see. Nesting of scenes. I introduced the word glamping to my husband this morning. That didn't go very well. <laughs> I said, Do you know what that is? <laughs> he shuddered. He almost, he won't even look at pictures of campers anymore. He won't even look at them, and they are adorable. Some of these that are coming in from Sacramento and from California, 1960s Shastas and uh, aerodynamic, the, the silver ones. There was even a picture, I don't know if you caught it, of, of the, the glamper and all of the paraphernalia, all from the 1950s and 60s, and there was a woman sitting in at her little table, her Formica table, and she had, on, she had dress on from the 1950s. Even her shoes. It was a riot. I don't want to go that far. I just want a nice little cozy house that we can drag behind us in the car. We are going to make our goal of webbing this, I do believe. Carrie, if you're out there, speaking of camping, I'm wondering if you're up in your home away from home working on your hexes. It was so nice of you and Kelsey to get that quilt over to the gentleman who asked for it. 
when I ever saw your request for a quilt and the fact that Kelsey has a few on hand to give away, it was just, it made me want to have a few on hand. That's the best thing. Oh, and hi to Chris, Chris and Abby out there. Hope you're doing well. So we are webbed together. Now what we do, so I have five by five. Can you see this? I'm a, I've got it a little bit twisted. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut all those so that I can straighten it out. And then without any further ado, I'm going to start going the other way because we need to finish this. saw our Clemson grad over the weekend. It was all I could do not to tell him I'm making you a quilt. Fortunately, they're not going to celebrate until August, so I still have a few more weeks. I had a lot of people, by the way, say that they're using orange, and in fact, Sandra did such I loved your bow ties there from last week with the orange. It's a popular color. So this is longer because we're going across all five of them. But when you think about it, we only have one, two, three, four of these long seams. How are we doing? Okay. I think it stopped raining here. Go. Once we're finished with the webbing, we will be putting on that bright green around the edge. I don't know if everyone remembers, I posted it. So this will be around the edge and it'll have that look. So stay tuned. What I 
I think I can commit to you that this weekend I'll get that on and I'll post a picture. I really want to get this one done. There we go. There's one, two. You see that? We're going to keep going. There's Bob's shirt. I love that. It's getting a little big. so glad to have this together. I hope that you are having fun, accomplishing. Sandra, with your stars, I just can't get over all you get done. You're an inspiration. You know, if I get this glamper someday, and my friend Sarah, hi Sarah if you're out there, we're talking about this, I might hit the road. I could come visit you all. <laughs> That'd be a hoot. Has everyone seen the yarn truck? I've been watching that. They don't post too much, but I guess it's the idea you can buy yarn out of this traveling truck. Which is kind of a neat idea. You know, when you want a yarn fix, but it maybe it's a long ways away, or the car isn't working, or, or frankly, you're not feeling well. What a lovely treat to have yarn or fabric to oogle. Be almost as good as as uh, the companion pets that come by. 
I have a friend out in California, or a co-worker actually, and she has a dog that she takes into caretaking situations, and boy, he just, the dog looks like a love, and just makes so many people happy just to see it. I cuddle with him. So as soon as I finish this strip, I'll see who's out there, and I wanted to show you what I got in the mail from Gail Wilson from my Hitty Doll. For anyone who may not have been hearing, I, or been to these Fibercasts in the past, I started to make Hitty Dolls. It's been about a year now, and... There are kits that Gail Wilson Designs puts together, and I am participating in a year-long series of kits. So every month she sends me something. The key being something. And I'll just leave it at that for a second. While you let that sink in, only me. And all of you, too, I bet. Sarah turned me on to this doll-making thing, and I do love it. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, we have two more seams. All right, we can do this. Let's see who's out there, if anyone. Oh, Joyce. Joyce is asking, do I quilt my own quilts? <sighs> Probably 50-50, Joyce. Some, I really need to do more of them just from a um, financial point of view. And I do it here with my Bernina, and I'm learning how to do it, so I'm not, but yes, I do about half of them myself. This one I'll do myself, that one, the Clemson one I'll do myself. But I do have a couple of long armors here, right here in the town I live in, that are exceptional. Both of them do really, really good work. So if I want something... If I want that that look, I will send them to them. Do you? I'm interested, Joyce. I know you're you're a prolific quilter. Um, I'd be interested to hear that. Oh, Anne in Canada. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad you've joined us. Hey, congratulations on your hockey. Wow, spring is finally here, says Anne. I think it's great you're finishing up your projects. Thank you. Keep telling me that. And if I show up with a new one, scold me. <laughs> I'm amazed you're not getting mixed up as you are talking. I know. <laughs> uh, is there someone in your sewing group that can test your treadle machine and then teach you to treadle? You will love it. <sighs> I have to do that. Yes, I think Jean can teach me. All right, I'm doing that this summer, I promise you. You will love it, so you do a lot of it. That, and plus it's exercise, right? Thank you, Anne. Oh, I'm so glad you joined us. Sheila, you're here. Not sewing, but really enjoying your cybercast. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, welcome. And Sheila says she likes round robins. Oh, that's good to know. They are fun. They are fun. I wonder... I don't know. I wonder if you could do something like that cross-country. Oh, Marquet! Oh, I'm so glad! I thought everyone wasn't here. Thank you guys for, 
for writing something down. I really appreciate it. She says, hello, Lynn. This is Marquet. I'm here tonight watching and working on new curtains for my sewing room. Oh, pretty. Sewing tonight on her 1941 featherweight. Love the quotes. She's been ordering and watching the tutorials from Missouri Star. I think you were one of the ones who pointed me toward them for over a year now. You can see my packs beside my computer, and you should see yourself on my laptop. Oh, no. Um, not sure if Cousin Norma is watching tonight or not. I couldn't get in touch with her before the show, but have a great weekend. Well, Norma, your cousin Marquet wants to know if you're out there, and I hope you are. I hope you're well. And, oh, I love this picture. Look at that featherweight and the curtains. Aww. Thank you, Marquet. Thrilled that you're out there. Joni, oh, I see Joni's here. Not doing anything but watching tonight. I'm so glad. Oh, I've been sick with a bug since Monday. Oh, feel better. Drink lots of fluids. Get lots of rest. Ah, oh. well, welcome. I hope I didn't miss anyone. That warms my heart. Let's do two more seams. Oh, kitty. Before I get back to Giddy. So remember I said that I received an email saying that Gail had sent something? She sent two new things. Really? Like I needed two to do in one month. They're kind of cool though. One is a fancy bonnet hat stand and hat box. So I'll make Hitty a little hat and a little box. And then here is Hitty's carry case because Kitty is such a good little traveler, don't you know? She must have a way to travel safely. This easy-to-do cloth-covered box is just Hitty size and has an embroidered Hitty label on top and an interior pocket for small Hitty treasures. <laughs> so, those are on the list. All right, let's do two more. See how we're doing this? Just two more, two more long seams, and then it will be webbed. Spring is coming up in Canada. Looks like it's coming. I tell you, it's fun to look at the spring flowers when you're up on these mountains and how they do change with even, even the 750 feet that we went different last Sunday, the terrain changed. Um, you know, and I... Lots of ferns at one level. I should know more. I did see partridge berry, so Judy, if you're out there, I was able to recognize that. That sweet woodruff looking little, little, little white flower, and I don't think it's sweet woodruff. And Karen even sent a different name, but I forget what it was. Okay, see, this is a little bit wonky, so I am cutting. I think it just got twisted. Okay, we're good to go. Okay. So hang with me. We may go a little bit over tonight, but I want to show this to you finished. 
So for this episode, it'll be amazing what we can get done in 65 minutes. <laughs> Sheila, I know you asked a couple of weeks ago how we get so much done. And you know, one other thing that occurred to me is at the end of my work day on Fridays, when I fin I finish at five, so I don't work later on Fridays, or I try not to, I get a lot done between five and eight in preparation, just knowing that I'm gonna see you all, that we want to have some progress. So that's another tip. Just give yourself deadlines, I guess. If Becca's out there, hello. This is going to be fun to iron. Stand up again. Okay. Let's see. We should have one more to web on here. There we go. We'll sew that right on. And then we'll feel very good. I'm still on this one roll of Aurofil thread. It's amazing. In fact, you know what's going to happen, don't you? We're going to run out of thread just before we finish this. I hope not.
you know, if I'd gone to Santa Clara, I would have made a lot more progress on those socks. Hmm. I think what I might have to do there is I might have to just, like with bindings, give myself oh, 20 minutes. Because I have to knit for 20 minutes while I'm watching the morning news or something. So close. And again, I'll iron this tomorrow. I'll do the, the green on it. And I will post an updated picture on, where will I post it? I'll post it on Facebook and Google. done webbing. So our gray modern quilt is webbed together. We still have the green to put around it and then another couple of borders, but we're feeling good. We thought about Maya. We, we reminded ourselves of a few of her wonderful quotes. And I'll leave you with a view of the quilt. And until next week, keep sewing. I hope you got a lot done. Hope you had fun. And I'll see you next week on Fibercast. Bye. Now I have to get over here to say goodbye. Bye.